Located in the idyllic, rolling hills of French-speaking Switzerland sits Gruyères, a picture-perfect medieval town. Cheese, chocolate, and beautiful cobblestone streets attract visitors all year round. It's known for production of the cheese of the same name. The Gruyères train station is just below the village, next to the Gruyères cheese dairy. From the train station, it's about a 10-minute walk uphill to the village center. The medieval town of Gruyères is tiny. The main street that runs through the center of town is a whopping 300 meters long, so you can walk from one end to the other in just a matter of minutes. Hotels, cafes, museums, and restaurants line this cobblestone street. It's a short but beautiful walk, especially with the views of green rolling hills and mountains that surround the town of Gruyères. There is a small section of medieval walls that you can visit. These sit just outside of the main entrance of the town. There is also a very nice walking path that circles around the outside of the town. The 13th century Chateau de Gruyères is a hilltop fortress with ornate rooms. For a fee, you can explore the castle interior, museum, and grounds. Admission is free for those holding a Swiss pass. The building was built between 1270 and 1282, following the typical square plan of the fortifications in Savoy. While the exterior is in excellent condition, it's the interior that's much more startling with respect to its recent occupancy and comprehensive renovations by the Bovi and Ballin families in the 1800s. The scullery, or kitchen, features a hearth so large an adult can easily stand inside it. Explore the castle rooms on your own. Discover the history of the site and its successive inhabitants by consulting the information panels in the castle rooms. Inside, the castle neither looks nor feels its age. Absent are the crumbling walls and cold, damp rooms devoid of furniture. Chateau de Gruyères feels like a real home. Once you've finished exploring the castle's many rooms and towers, make sure not to miss the gardens on the eastern side of the castle. We hope you enjoyed this visit to one of the most scenic regions in Switzerland. Until next time, goodbye and pleasant travels.